Tarora District Chairman Emmanuel Osuna says health officials have set up two surveillance centers in the affected sub-counties to treat the cholera victims. The Ministry of Health has also sent some drugs. Six people have died, but we have put there. Reception center in Residents have resorted to drawing dirty water from River Manafwa, but health workers are advising them to at least boil the water before drinking or find alternative clean water sources. They have also been told to immediately bury those who succumb to cholera and not greet by shaking hands. We have got all the medical requirements from the ministry they have given us. We have got the spraying pumps. We are working with the Red Cross. We are working with all other organizations. We have started sensitizing the people. Besides the fear of cholera, these people have to contend with constant floods, which have rendered over 2,000 people homeless. Some have taken refuge at Nawire Primary School, while others are living with relatives after their homes were flooded by the heavy rains. The threat of malaria also looms large, with children and expectant mothers being the most susceptible. Until the rain stops, these people are going to stay around. We want to send a camp now, down there, adjacent to the school. It is estimated that over 103 homes were destroyed and other houses are waterlogged. These people have been in the school in Paya sub-county since 7th May, awaiting government relief intervention. The government has so far only sent 400 sacks of beans and posho. And now that school reopens today, a camp is to be set up elsewhere for the displaced.